Hey, what's up everybody? Prophetic here uh, with another video. This time going back to what I've been uh, speaking about um, for a while back in 2017 and a little bit of 18, um, productivity apps, um, note-taking apps and those kind of things. Um, I've done a lot of videos on Linux um, and different operating systems and their websites and uh, marketing aspects of that and that's been awesome and I'll definitely keep on doing those but um, now that the new year is here and now that you know I have a growing family uh, with our newborn Benjamin here happy and healthy uh, it got me thinking about how I you know notate things you know there's doctor's appointments and important information insurance and my plan of attack also um, because you're adding to the family new year you have to do a lot of reflection of your goals and where you want to be in the next five years and um, as a father I definitely take that stuff seriously so I'm trying to think about how I best do that the problem I've had though is sometimes either just historical momentum or habit um, I've used one particular app for a while and then this other app comes along and I'll play with that for a little bit I do certain things there and then I'll go back to my original apps was all centralized and I was really big on that having one place to hold everything I used to be a big Evernote user um, but since Evernote has you know done things differently let's put it that way went in a different direction or switching things up um, I felt like it was probably time to move on um, so I switched to OneNote and I put everything in OneNote and uh, since then though um, being that I primarily use um, Linux, uh, a various form of uh, operating system, um, uh, some variant of a Linux operating system. Um, I tend to use OneNote through the web browser. And while it's come a long way, don't get me wrong, a long way, it's still just not as, um, it just doesn't feel all that great to use sometimes, um, especially the logging in process. Sometimes just this seems cumbersome, um, especially if there's you have a certain number of tabs open. Um, it's not as responsive as other apps. Um, again, it's going to come a long way, and it's probably good enough for now. But I found myself just dipping in other apps, and so that's what I kind of want to show you these other apps that are out there, but also my little experimentation with instead of doing everything centralized doing things um, in a, I guess a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, basically just uh, using a bunch of apps for different purposes and why that might be a good fit. If so far, just thinking it through out loud, um, it feels like a type of writing has a home and that home may be better suited for a particular app. So. I'm going to walk you through my, I guess, my strategy for how I want to handle all these things. So first and foremost, it's going to be Google Keep. Uh, Google Keep is great because it, they have the extension, they have the mobile app, um, and uh, it's pretty lightweight. That's pretty responsive, too. So for what I'm starting off with right now is my scratch pad. Google Keep will be a place where I just have my throwaway things I could type out real quick and, and not really it's not really important. I often um, find myself gravitating gravitating to Google Keep for when I start my day, like I just want to do like a brain dump and type something up if I'm not using my, if I don't have this with me or if I don't have a planner with me, um, or sometimes this feels better to game plan my day and get the thoughts on a, outside of my head. I use Google Keep, and I used to use that um, back when I was working at a previous job, and it worked really well to kind of just talk to myself in a way to get me ready for the day and things I just got to get out of my, my head. Um, but again, it was so stream of conscious type of thing that I couldn't really do nothing with it. It was just to brain dump it and get it out of my head. Um, and so that's probably where I want to keep that. I'm going to keep using it instead of trying to force that into another platform because then I got to manage some like high value writing and documentation with sorting through stream of conscious throwaway documentation that I just don't want to sort through visually. So, or even bother with tags and anything like that. Just keep it here and not that serious. Um, the next thing is tech documentation. Um, conveniently, um, I'm, I've, uh, learned a lot more about servers and self-hosting certain services and um, I've been a fan of Nextcloud and that project and so 
I'm happy to say that I got it working and um, I got it set up uh, in a way that I'm happy uh, for now. Um, but because I'm still testing and playing out with things, um, I'm just putting, I don't put anything serious here. This is just my, my, my documentation on the websites and links that helped me get through some issues that I found myself in. Um, so with Lex and Crypt, um, for whatever reason, I had some issues with Lex and Crypt and next cloud pie on Debian, you know, playing around with that and documenting my stuff where I left off if I can't finish it off setting it up um if I heard later I found out later that there was a, a bug in the curl installer script that they created for Debian so um that's where I left off and so I have I could pick up where I left off uh, without being had that fog to jog my memory you know get fog brain so um, that's, that's pretty much some of the things that I'm going to use this for purely for that. Nothing else. Um, it's pretty simplistic. Um, I have a native client, um, called Q own notes, which was, uh, some of that own cloud used to really have going. Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they still have it and still maintain it, but just because the products are so similar when they, when it was forked that it still works at next cloud. So I use that for the native. Um, but it has actually probably a little better, um, native than using it in the web browser, but sometimes just out of habit, just go to the web browser. Sometimes I guess it depends on the mood I'm in. Um, so if I want to I guess something super easy, quick, I could do that. Um, but if I need something with heavy formatting, I probably should use a native client. Um, so yeah, so that's next cloud just for tech stuff. Um, Nothing serious or important here. Again, it's a, a someone playing with Nextcloud, not using it as like a, a main thing. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, the next thing is Writer by Big Huge Labs. Interesting name. Um, I love this thing from back in the day. Basically, it has like this terminal-looking thing with the green that pops out. Um, super simplistic. I love it. Um, it does have some nice features like word counting and all those kind of things um and i don't know man there's something nice and clean especially when you put this in full screen mode um speaking of full screen mode when i do this in full screen mode it gets this the the right uh, the the journal part the entry part um kind of overlaps with the panel of the notes here so it's not really there's a bug there um so this though when you put it in full screen mode it's beautiful it's great just get out of the way I, th um, I found that I, for whatever reason, I guess because of the terminal, um, that context, that world, uh, it, it kind of gravitated me to doing a lot of writing on on things about Linux um, and my thoughts on like convergence and that kind of thing. Stuff, of course, that I've never released yet. Like I only, <laughs> only did like one or two things that I released in, in my writing. A lot of it is just still jotting down my, my thought pieces and setting up the premise and the arguments and the research. Um, Maybe that's my thing for 2019 is to really actually, you know, ship the writing, so to speak, and just publish it. Um, so I'll probably use that there. Um, I have um, a little bug came out here with the YouTube video. Um, I have written some things for my business and social commentary stuff with writer, um, but I found that when it comes to the, it, that requires way more research. So OneNote will be the place where I'll continue to pick up where I left off with my OneNote commentary. Um, so yeah, so social commentary, politics, still tech stuff too here because I use it for my business blog. Um, so that's that's where I kept you know some of these things there. Um, also, I'm probably gonna still keep these things here for like my major documentation, almost like reference, my reference system for my life, my house, my cars, those kind of things. So while I have my business stuff here, I um, also have environment stuff like, you know, the cars, the office, house. Um, and when I was doing my MBA, I had my scholar section, you know, so health, finance, documents, not documents, but like just notes about, you know, game plan for investing and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll probably keep this because it has a great way of like, you know, again, I can, if I have second thoughts, um, a 
about notes and stuff like that, I can always just go to the right and do a whole nother section here. So um, I like that. I like the flexibility that OneNote gives me. Um, so I'm going to like strike this, the scratch pad and journal section. I'm probably going to delete all that since it's going to be in a different place now. Because I was trying to combine all this stuff as a scratch pad, throwaway stuff, plus a journal. Um, and then quick notes, which is part of the, I think, the um, extension and also the icon on Windows. They have the quick notes on the bottom right icon there that I don't use anymore, obviously. Um, but yeah, so one note has been that. And then from here, um, for my personal stuff, it's going to be standard notes, which is like a new, uh, it's a new kit on the block to me, um, where it's encrypted. So I'm going to use this as my personal prayer journal. So reflection time, reflecting about being a dad, how I can be a better father, a better husband, um, some of the mental roadblocks, uh, mental blocks that I have, you know, what's holding me back, um, prayers that I have for my family, for people, my church, for the community, that kind of stuff. I just want to, you know, really want to document and also keep track of too, to see what the end end, end results are. Um, I want to get a little more intentional with, with, with that. Um, so these are kind of the things that I'm going to be doing in 2019 experimenting with and I must say now that I feel like I like everything has a home um it feels so much better um it feels really good to know that any type of writing mode I'm in I have it has a home that is I guess native feeling to the type of writing it is. Um, and when it comes to the personal journal stuff with standard notes, again, there's, I, I added additional passcode, um, obviously not signed in my, my session here, but um, there's additional passcodes you can put in there and all that stuff. It has a mobile app, um, has even a native client too, which is nice. So that's my thing. Um, I, when you're, struck with inspiration or you're in that mode or in that mood in that when you're there you got to be able to like just jump into that platform i found myself when i was trying to make one note my catch-all end-all be-all um for me to get to the place and find the place where i need to be to get to the entry where i was trying to write something it just seemed cumbersome it seemed out of order to I don't know if maybe they change this, but sometimes when depending on where you highlight, when you want to add a new notebook, a new page, it it's kind of like it's not linear. It doesn't and you can't sort it in a linear way, um, at least in the web client. So it's kind of like I feel like when I want to go back to something to review it, I have to dig and find it and search for it. And so it just feels better to kind of separate the, the, the nature of the writing to a different home and um uh, I don't know what you guys have planned for your note taking. I mean, I'm, I've, I also have um, a journal as well. Um, but again, sometimes this is in the basement, you know, my office and I'm upstairs and I don't feel like going downstairs. So if I can just jot something down there, I basically what I'm trying to say and I'll end the ramble here. I feel it's important to be adaptive and um, I think I'm going to just be okay with being adaptive with it requiring different tools. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So what do you guys do for your systems? I don't know. Um, leave a comment if you think it's interesting to you. Uh, just kind of documenting my journey with this stuff and uh, hope it helps someone. Have a great one and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.